The Supermicro C7 Z97 OCE is not your typical motherboard from the server manufacturer. Unlike the other motherboards that are built for Xeon chips and multi-scale server solutions, the C7 Z97 OCE is our second board aimed at gamers with high quality components and easy overclocking features. Unlike the previous generation gaming motherboard, the new board utilizes Intel's latest Z97 chipset which supports the upcoming Devil's Canyon and Broadwell line of CPUs, as well as M.2 and SATA Express. Inside the box, you'll find your SATA cables, I.O. shield, driver CD, as well as a large style poster guide showing where everything is located on the board. The overall color scheme of the motherboard may throw some potential buyers off considering there are easily four different colors visible. Although most gaming motherboards feature a two-tone color scheme, the C7 Z97 OCE has a black PCB, blue and black PCI memory slots, with white connections for SATA and power, and the heat sinks being orange. For memory, the board features four DDR3 DIMM sockets with support of up to 32GB of memory at 3000MHz. Even though Supermicro is a server manufacturer, the motherboard does not support ECC memory. For cooling the board and computer, there are a total of 5 4-pin connections supporting up to 5 fans. One of the main selling points of the Z97 chipset is the support for M.2 form factor drives. Another big selling point is SATA Express. Unfortunately, this board does not come with any SATA Express slots, but does come with support for M.2. For audio, the C7 Z97 OCE uses a Realtex ALC 1150 chip. However, there isn't any fancy software included like you'll find in boards from ASUS or Gigabyte. There are a total of 6 SATA ports on the board which all utilize a SATA 3 protocol for 6 gigabit per second transfer speeds. One really big turnoff is the fact that the board uses AMI BIOS. In this day and age, pretty much every gamer board now uses UEFI which is much easier to navigate and comes with many more features. Although the BIOS option is pretty old school, it's nice to see that Supermicro included easy overclocking hardware buttons. There are a total of 3 buttons that overclock the CPU by 15%, 20%, and 25%. For users who are not too familiar with overclocking, this can be a nice way to get some extra performance out of your CPU. On the rear I.O., you'll find a PS2 mouse keyboard port, 2 USB 2.0 and 4 USB 3.0 ports, VGA, DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort out, as well as dual gigabit ethernet ports and the 7.1 audio connections. In the end, this motherboard is really meant for those who demand quality first and don't care about aesthetics. It does cost more than top end boards from Gigabyte and Asus, but it also bears a super micro name which means reliability shouldn't be an issue. Pretty much every component on the C7 Z97 OCE is server grade and thus using this board for extended periods of time shouldn't be an issue. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.